Hello dear learners, welcome to economics MCQ series part 3. In the previous videos I have discussed questions from chapter 1 of Indian and Global Economic Development TYBCOM. In this video I have taken questions from chapter 2 that is agriculture development in India since independence. So if you find it useful please like it and if you have not subscribed my channel yet please subscribe it. The channel link is here given. So let us start with the first question which of the following is the commercial crop in India mustard tobacco jute so the correct answer and all of the above the correct answer is the last one that is all of the above mustard tobacco jute all the three are commercial crop in India moving on to the next which Indian state produces the largest quantity of pulses Maharashtra Uttar Pradesh Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan. The correct answer is Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh produces largest quantity of pulses in India. Question number three. Which agency is responsible for procurement, distribution and storage of food grain production in India? Ministry of Agriculture, Food Corporation of India, NAFED, TRIFED. It is the correct answer is Food Corporation of India FCI this NAFED is a marketing agency and TRIFED is also marketing agency next question who approves the fair and remunerative price FRP of sugarcane cabinet committee on economic affairs commission for agriculture costs and prices directorate of marketing and inspection ministry of agriculture agricultural produce market committee the correct answer is committee Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs. Moving on to the next question. Who regulates the markets in agriculture products in India? Essential Commodities Act 1955, Agriculture Produce Market Committee Act enacted by states, Agriculture Produce Grading and Marketing Act 1937, Food Products Order 1956 and Meat and Food Products Order 1973. The correct answer to this question is agricultural produce market committee act enacted by states in india so this is the committee who regulates agriculture products market in india moving on to the next question which agency is responsible for marketing of agricultural products in india which agency is responsible for marketing of agriculture products in india trifid ISOPOM, NAFED, APMC. Actually, it is NAFED. In fact, TRIFED is the Tribal Cooperative Marketing Development Federation of India established in 1987. ISOPOM is Integrated Scheme of Oil Seed, Pulses, Oil Palm and Maize. Whereas NAFED is National Agriculture uh, Cooperative Marketing Federation of India established in 1958, the oldest one, and APMC, that is Agriculture Produce Market Committees, established by state government. So, the correct answer of this question is NAFED. Moving on to the next question Who recommends the MSP and issue prices? Ministry of Agriculture, Planning Commission, NABAD, Commission for Agriculture Costs and Prices. The correct answer is CACP, that is Commission for Agricultural Costs and Prices. Dr. M.S. Swaminathan has distinguished himself in which of the following fields? Nuclear Physics, Agriculture, Astrophysics, Medicine. M.S. Swaminathan is a distinguished a researcher and scientist in agriculture field. Next, the Green Revolution in India was the outcome of efforts of who amongst the following? M.S. Swaminathan, C. Rangarajan, K.V. Kamath, Rakesh Mohan. The correct answer obviously is M.S. Swaminathan. He is treated as the person behind Green Revolution in India. Then National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development, NABAD, was established in which year? 1975, 1977, 1980, 1982. Can you guess? The correct answer is 1982. NABAD was established in 1982. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वालिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर कमोडिटीज इज इंश्योर्ड बाय विच बॉडी अमंग ऑल दीज फोर इंश्योर्स द एग्रीकल्चर क्वालिटी द ग्रेडिंग यू कैन से एगमार्क आई एस आई बी एस आई आई एस ओ इट इज एक्चुअली एगमार्क दैट इज द क्वालिटी इंश्योरिंग a grading mark uh, over the agriculture product whereas other three are for industrial products and institutional certification then food corporation of india was established in the year 1955 1965 1975 1979 food fci was established in 1965 moving on to the next building buffer stock is possible through domestic procurement import both one and two none of these actually the correct answer is both one and two the procurement for buffer stock is done both domestically as well as from import next question cacp was earlier known as cacp agriculture prices organization agriculture prices commission commission on agriculture none of these in fact cacp earlier known as agricultural prices commission and it was established in 1965 and later on this cacp it was renamed as commission on agriculture costs and prices in 1985 moving on to the next minimum support prices were announced by the government of india for the first time in which year 1955 56 1966 67 1976 77 1970 correct answer is can you guess it is 1966 67 for the first time government of india announced msp in 1966 67 the national cooperative development corporation ncdc was established in which year 1955 1965 1976 1970 it was established in 1965 the national dairy development board nddb was established in which year 1975 1955 1976 1965 actually nddb was established in 1965 moving on to the next pick the odd one out fci cwc nafed swc in fact fci that is food corporation of india cwc central warehousing corporation swc that is state warehousing corporation these are the bodies for storing and warehousing the agri agro products whereas nafed is the marketing organization for agro products so this is the odd one moving on to the next agriculture produce grading and marketing act was passed in which year 1947 1957 it was established in 1937 only this act was passed in 1937 before independence then next is the small and marginal farmers holdings taken together small and marginal farmers are those farmer who own 0 to 2 hectares of land constituted dash percentage of total holdings in 1915 uh, 2015 16 in india according to this agriculture census 2015 16 what was the percentage 65.25% 86.08% 81.13% 75.01% so the correct answer is 86.08% of total holding comes under small and marginal farmers according to the agriculture census 2015 16 which is not the constraints of agriculture development in india heavy dependence on monsoon cropping pattern land ownership lack of adequate sowing area so the correct answer to this question not the constraint this lack of adequate sowing area that is the correct answer to this question these three are the constraints of agriculture development in india 
moving on to the next there were three main types of land tenure systems in india so which one is the correct zamindari mogalwari rayatwari zamindari mahalwari and gulamwari zamindari mahalwari and rayatwari bataidari mahalwari and rayatwari the correct answer is this zamindari mahalwari and rayatwari moving on to the next question according to latest agriculture census the average size of land holdings in india is let me tell you the latest agriculture census in india was conducted in 2015 16 so as per this census what is the average size of holding 4.28 hectares 1.08 hectares 2.28 hectares 3.28 hectares so as per this census 2015 16 of agriculture census this is the average size of land holdings in india 1.08 hectares moving on to the next which is oblique are the causes of rural indebtedness in india low income and poverty inherited or ancestral debts unproductive and wasteful expenditure of the loans all of the above actually all of the above are the causes of rural indebtedness in india moving on to the next question kisan credit card scheme was introduced in india in which year in the year 2000 1998 2005 2014 it was introduced in 1998 comprehensive crop insurance scheme ccis was introduced in which year in india 1985 1998 2005 2018 it was introduced in 1985 cropping seasons in india are known as rabi kharif Kharif and Zaid, Rabi, Kharif and Zaid, none of the above. Actually, in India, there are three cropping seasons and that is known as Rabi, Kharif and Zaid. Three seasons, three agricultural seasons, you can call it. That They are also known as cropping seasons. Moving on to the next. Following are the types of cropping patterns. Cropping pattern, seed cropping, intercropping, Mixed cropping, intercropping, and crop rotation, Rabi, Kharif, and Zaid, none of the above. Actually, this is these are the cropping season, and one of them is correct. Actually, this second one is the correct answer that is mixed cropping, that is sowing two or more crops simultaneously, intercropping, that is uh, sowing two or more crops in a definite pattern. In the same field and crop rotation means changing uh, type of crops in each season so these are the three important cropping pattern in India so these are some of the important questions I'll bring the next video from chapter number three so please do subscribe press the bell icon for upcoming videos on MCQ series thank you so much